James, I'll start with you first. Uh, Perth, what a welcome. Yeah, it was awesome. We obviously had some great memories back here in 2019. And, um, yeah, we had a great week over here, come over here early on Monday. And, um, yeah, to come out and play like that was really pleasing after disappointing game one. So, yeah, really happy. What was that atmosphere like out there with Perth fans going absolutely wild? The Blutchies Blues looked pretty full. Yeah, I could, um, could hear him as we run out. It was an awesome atmosphere running out there and could hear him the whole game. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty surreal atmosphere running out. It's a, it's a big stadium and um, you definitely hear the crowd when you're going well. Freddie, for you, uh, there was a lot of talk about you being quite tense during the week. Are we a little bit more relaxed after watching that effort tonight? No, either way, during the week, especially the way the boys train there, and they're just uh, attention to what we did last game. They accepted everything that we spoke about and they played like they trained. So um, that was a really pleasing week. Those seven changes that happened for New South Wales, they seem to really come together out on the field tonight as well. Yeah, I think the biggest compliment you can get as a, a coach is when, you know, if you make a few changes or some decisions and uh, they go out and do do what they're supposed to do and um, they all played really well you know to the blokes playing their first game Siffer and Bird, I thought they were fantastic um, but across the board you know I think everyone just working together and I think sort of to acknowledge that we weren't great um, some people had to you know they lost their position so we worked hard to make sure it wasn't in vain. All right well before we go to the fans questions we're just going to open up to media now and we'll come back with a couple of fans Q&A's. Pretty good Nathan, obviously he took a lot of that mm. in game one himself, yeah. but tonight he was just unbelievable. Yeah, I, I thought he read the game really well. Um, setting up the try early with the kick, they were coming and putting a lot of pressure on us uh, with their outside defence. So, And then I think by the end of the game, we just, uh, they were pretty fatigued. So I think you know, him and Jerome just took advantage of, and that's what they can do. You know, they do it at Penrith. And, um, but I think he set up early with a few decisions early. Was he down on confidence at all, Freddie? Did you notice anything during the week, or was Nathan just being Nathan? I didn't tell you. What was the question, sorry? Was Nathan down a little bit of confidence after that first game, Teddy? No, I don't think so. That's it's about how you respond. Obviously, you copped a lot of criticism, which I think was a bit unwanted, but he came out the week after and carved up for Penrith, and he bring that confidence in the game too. So that, that shows what a, what a champion player he is. He's awesome to play with, and he was probably our best tonight. Yeah, it was uh, great to see his family here. Uh, they came over the other night to help with the jersey presentation, and you can just see they just love footy. And to watch him go there and perform, and um, you know, score a try, and but not only that, do some hard work. Got back there and worked really hard for his teammates. So yeah, they're, they're great rewards. You know, being in a, a team when people get to make their debut, and I'm sure it'll be. A, a memorable one for him. I know you talked about fun, Freddie, being back, but I mean, you did obviously. You you feeling it, weren't oh, you, during the week? This you is had okay. to... I don't know. But <laughs> I'm now 50. I don't drink anymore, so like, <laughs> that's my wife. She thinks I'm that boring. So you look way more fun tonight. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the the fun went a while ago, actually. <laughs> About 20 years. <laughs> you know, you're a little bit, you know, sort of tense. No, no. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, it's a tense situation. You got to win. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not criticising for it, that's what I'm saying. No, 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 I'm just telling you that, you know, it's, uh, we had to win. So, simple as that. And I think um, now, now they'll know what it feels like, so we need to make sure we got to somehow keep the burn. Jake Trebojevic brought a lot to this to the team tonight, didn't he? <laughs> well, Teddy would know more than I did, but... Yeah, we, I think everyone loves playing with Jake. He's just a competitor and just wants to win, and... You know, when he speaks, he spe spoke a bit you know, at half time and before the game, and everyone listens. And he's very passionate, and just he's just a competitor who wants to win. And um, yeah, I love I love playing with Jake. He's on and off the field. He's just an awesome, awesome bloke, an awesome player, and um, he brought a lot of energy and excitement to this game too. Teddy, could you feel you just got to roll over in that second half, just bit by bit, inch by inch? I felt like yeah, we, we were doing that in the first half. We then disciplined a lot of a lot of penalties, gave him that field position, and sort of spoke about if we just um, you know, got in the long game with them, kicked the corners and completed our sets without giving them penalties, that I feel that we could feel that us getting on top of them and that's sort of what happened in the second half. We um, yeah, we completed our sets but I thought our defence in, in, their, in their end of the field was, was really strong and got us some good field position and we made the most of the opportunities. Brian, how, how important was the 
um, the bench tonight. You know, um, Cookie and Junior Paulo when he came on, basically really just, I suppose, just changed, shifted it up a bit. Yeah, I thought outside Nathan, as Teddy said before, he's crampy. Careful, we got any medical staff in here? <laughs> so. no, you're right. Yeah. There you go. Um, I thought Junior was most surely our next most important player. Um, made a big difference when he came on. Had a couple of big runs and we just scored not long after that. Um, yeah, they're having a funny year, Parramatta. But you know, his last couple of games have been fantastic. So you know, hopefully he can keep that form up and stay fit. How did you, obviously well, different from game one, how did you, I suppose, get the best out of him tonight? I think Parramatta got the best out of him the other day. Um, you know, I mean, if you're coming in when you're winning, you know, I think it showed for Queensland going into game one as well. It's, it's a big bonus. You know, if you're coming in winning and um, as you can see, the ladder at the moment, Brisbane, Cowboys, Melbourne, they're all at the top. And that's why, you know, they'll be confident for game three. It'll be a totally different game. But um, yeah, if, when you get them coming in off a nice win like Parramatta were, then it helps. And is that why you I mean you've got a Penrith dominated? Side is it? Well, the top know, under pressure, you know, it's pretty loud out there. Just having people that are familiar with each other. You know, and the beauty of winning a few series is that you know blokes get to know each other, like Teddy and Nathan and these sort of players. And over time, you just build combinations. So um, you know, the more you win, it's sort of nearly the easier it gets because they just know each other so well. And you just touched on it'll be a different game in game period. There'll be a different team. Like how big is the challenge of? I know a lot of success up there last year, but it wasn't at Suncorp. It's, they're a different team, aren't they? Well, it's one all. Yeah. So as good as that was, it's one all. Simple as that. It's the end of it. We're playing the Suncorp and we've only won once here in four years, so that's it. We'll give ourselves a chance. Did your mind sort of go to it at some point in the later stages of that second half when you knew it was there? And uh, No, not really. I was just really enjoying what they were doing. It was good that they didn't stop either. I thought that was really important. Teddy, could you... Um feel that Queensland lost concentration they in the last 30 they couldn't concentrate can you identify that? Nah, we're more just focusing on ourselves I think that was the main uh, focus for us in that second half we, we felt like we were on top but yeah, we wanted to put a foot on the throat and keep playing footy and um, our opportunities came off the back of that so it was not really much on Queensland just that, that was just on us we wanted to keep playing our best footy and and keep playing and, and um, scoring some tries, and that's, that's what we did, which was, was really pleasing. Teddy, what do you think about the challenge of going to Suncorp and trying to win the series over there? Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Uh, we know it's going to be a, yeah, it's going to be a different beast going up there, uh, pack Suncorp, everything, everyone against us, but it's a challenge we'll look forward to. I think we'll take a lot of confidence out of this game and probably identify some stuff we can get better at, but come out and how we played tonight against uh, after game one was, was really pleasing so we'll take a lot of confidence out of that. Is there any so injuries Freddie? Pretty critical about Queensland slowing down the ruck in game one. Do you think they actually did a better job there? Did you notice any difference at all? Well I think the time and the play the ball were very, a lot similar, a lot more similar. But it, it came more to our F. You know, they, I thought they pushed the ref and he allowed it so but it was on our side it was more our effort. So it was a criti criticism of us more so than anyone else, so no, I thought they were a lot better tonight. Do you think the Kafusi Simbin was soft or warranted? Uh, well, I thought what had happened was we were starting to get the better of them and the only way they were keeping up was giving away penalties and, you know, they'll do anything you can do, so I thought it was warranted. Um, any injuries? Uh, Payne might have a sore ankle, so I don't know the extent of that, so we'll find out. But I think outside that, uh, Ken Murray's got a bit of a cut here. So they won't alter his looks at all. Cut ear. A cut ear. That's why he went off. Yes, I heard he got mm. stitches, but like, did somebody bite it? Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. You can ride that if you like. I don't want to ride that. I just <laughs> wanted to confirm some facts. <laughs> All right, we might leave that there. Uh, as we said, we open up some uh, amazing questions to our fans at home across our social media channels at NRL. Uh, First one, this is to you, Teddy, from Michael. Is being a captain at origin level more work than captaining the Roosters and what are the major differences? Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's actually pretty good because we've got a lot of captains in the team. There's a lot of guys who are leading their clubs. Um, so it makes my job, my job easier. I've got a lot of leaders in this team, but um, I, I enjoy it, you know, getting, getting the opportunity to lead your state. 
um, to be, yeah, to be a captain of your state, it's awesome, and to lead the boys out, there's, there's probably no better feeling than that. So, um, yeah, I really enjoy that. Freddie, the, the next one's for you. It's from Lucas Mason. He said, how do you give your players encouragement to keep going when they're down in the trenches? Well, they're on the field, so really uh, a lot of it's them giving themselves encouragement. You know, we try to, um, you know, during the week, prepare, and we try to prepare to play 80 minutes and have a strong mindset. So, But out there on the field, it's, it's the players uh, pushing each other. and So, yeah. All right, well, the final one is also to you as well, too. Uh, Riley Vutus, I hope I pronounced that right. Do you think Matt Burton will claim his spot for Origin 3 <laughs> or will Jack White and get his spot back? No, we'll just wait and see. <laughs> Thanks for the thanks for all. All right, thank you very much to uh, both the captain and coach. <laughs> well, obviously, we will be back for game 